Hi everyone, it's Heather with Ideas to Come, and I'm here to share with you my first um, pocket letter. Um, so I received my first pocket letter, and um, I'm going to have to explain the initial part with you because I uh, had to open it. So here's the pretty envelope. I don't want to show her her address or anything, but there's the envelope. And I did have a couple of questions on mine too, so. Um, I wanted to share that with you as well. Um, I've got Hershey. Um, here, this was from Stacy, and she is on the, um, Pocket Letter Pals. Um, she joined the Pocket Letter Pals. I joined the Pocket Letter Pals. So, first of all, my Pocket Letter was all wrapped up and tied with this twine here. I hope you guys can see this. Let me go down. And um, I thought that was so cool. So then I opened it and oops, I got it backwards. And look, isn't that so neat? I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh. And all of these pockets were taped shut, but um, I opened them, of course. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the top corner. First, she had this washi tape on there. Okay, put that to the side. And she has a letter here for me that I read. And I just want to answer, she has this little twine here too. And so I just want to answer her questions because I'm going to let her know that I did a video. She has a blog site and I'll try to put that down below. And um, you can only uh, get in if you join. So. She says, um, hi Heather, I hope you enjoy your pocket letter. I had fun creating it. I'm wondering how the winter were, the winter was in New Mexico and we too, we had a light winter. Um, we had the most mild winter I've experienced in Utah this year. We did too and then we had like some snowstorms that were crazy but um, really mild weather. Um, she, she says, I work part time. I love to still craft time as well. Um, I told her that I I mean, that's on my um, profile. My three school-age children keep me busy. This is such fun. New idea. I hope you, you, I hope the snail mail revolution continues. Take care and craft on. Stacy, a.k.a. Stacy Scraps. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I, I didn't even write her one as pretty as that one. Um, and I forgot to date mine. <laughs> so, Stacy, you will have to date mine. And then there's these pretty pattern papers um, on there, in there. And um, I have three kids too, except two of them are grown adults. And then I have my Ray Ray, who's eight years old, of course. Um, I hope I'm in frame. Okay. So this next one, it says goodies. She put goodies on there. I thought that was cool. So take the tape off. And I got, um, she gave me some flowers. Pretty, pretty. And a piece of uh, lace here. And some little, um, gosh, I can't even think. Yeah, cut out. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. So I want to put it back because I want to keep it sort of in its original state because I'm going to put them in a binder and I want to keep everything together. So um, I want to do that. So excited. I'm working on some more. So I'll put that on in a minute. Then this little bird here and she's got the washi tape on there again and I'm not going to take it out but it has some twine and some uh, sequins with this pretty card so I thought that was pretty and then right here some uh, little post-it notes that was super pretty and then this little saying here that says be filled with joy let let the be let the beauty you love be what you do and I really liked that and then this, oh, this is so awesome. What an awesome idea. This is a magnetic bookmark that she made. And I thought that was super cool. That is so cool. So um, 
I like that idea. That is so fun. And then right here, she has this marked die cuts. And see, die cuts. And she has some little die cuts in here. Oh, I love the butterflies. Look. And it says, for you. And then it has this pretty pattern paper. And I think I have another one that I dropped and I just put it in my bag because it fell out. But she had that taped as well, I think. Ah. Okay. And then yum. And there's candy. And I didn't even I didn't even do that for her. But this is uh two pieces of pattern paper and she doubled that. And then tea. I hope you guys are seeing this because I can't even see what I'm doing. And then there's a uh, peppermint tea. I love tea. I'm a tea person. I'm, I, I'm not, I drink coffee a lot in the winter, but um, I'm mostly, I really like tea, different kind types of teas. So that's my first pocket letter. And this is the back side. And the back side looks just as pretty as the front side. And I should have zoomed out instead of making you guys squint at seeing all of that stuff. The other thing I wanted to share with you is I had mentioned um, I was making mine and I'm calling these puzzle pocket letters and the reason why I'm calling them puzzle pocket letters is because like this picture here it's all one picture and I actually had to cut it up and um, fit it in the correct area so it was kind of like a puzzle and I said oh puzzle pocket um, puzzle pocket letter so that's what I am calling those and um, I am working on some other ones I have some other ladies that I'm going to be doing um, some pocket letters with but Stacy thank you so much for um, for uh, and see I have the back but I'm working on this one for somebody thank you so much for uh, swapping with me and um, I'm loving this idea uh, it's it's really cheap oops didn't mean to do that it's really cheap um, way to to do this and so I love it um, and it's so fun and um, you just you have to think outside the box and that's something I'm not used to doing this type of thing so see this is real plain right now I'm still working on it but um, it's fun to just sit back and think, okay, what am I going to do um, with this? And I am losing all my glitter stuff out. How? I do not know because it's closed, but I am. Anyways, so I wanted to share that with you guys. And um, I have some other people that I'm going to do pocket letters. I'm hoping to do more. Um, so if you want to do that, let me know. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye for now.